What is going on guys? My name is JoshD28 and today we are playing some more real life Minecraft. And um we have um I'm coming back to you with another Lego Minecraft creation and we have brought the tamed or Siamese or however you want to call it um cat um into real life entirely made out of Lego bricks today. So yeah guys, um this creation probably um Estimating a little on this probably took up to the 300-350 brick count. It's a pretty cool design to display around your gaming room or wherever you want to put it. There's the front of it. He's pretty cool on my end. I like the tail. How it like can go in all different positions. But yeah guys, let's um take this part and I'll tell you all the colors and the, the dimensions. So, if you guys want to, one sec, guys, I, I'll just take all of this apart. So, if you guys want to make your own Lego Minecraft, um, Siamese, or like, however you want to say it, cat, just start out by sorting out all of your gray, your dark gray, your black, and your white pieces, and then just a little blue for the eyes, as you guys saw there before. That's really all the pieces you're going to need, and then... You're obviously going to need um, some connector pieces, like um, a pin piece for the swiveling head, and then a piece, um, a mechanic piece for the tail. But yeah, guys, other than that, we have the cat dissembled right here, as you can see. So let's get into the dimensions for everything. So starting with the head, it's five studs by five studs and then it's four studs tall and you guys can see it's the um putting out nose here like one brick out nose that was just run by having this piece or like this piece or this piece go out into the thing so it clips onto here but it stays in place like that so that's the head and then you just gotta add one by three things here for the ears and then, of course, on the back, you gotta add the pin piece with the um, cylinder connector piece right in there. Moving on to the feet, it's um, the the dimensions are probably you guys already know two by two, and it's um, four studs tall. All of them are. You need four of those. Now it's one gray, one two by two gray, one by 2x2 two two white, and then two 2x2 two two blacks all around. Now, these are the front feet. I added a little feature that the video I looked at, it wasn't a tutorial, I just had to look at it. It was pretty tricky. Um, I, the video I looked at, it didn't, um, it didn't do this, but I did this just to have it cool. Like, at the back, you can have, like, slanted claws or something. I did this for two reasons. I was running out of black, and it, I guess it just looks cool. Like, he can have some slanted claws, like some chiseled claws at the back of his body. I made two of those. Moving on to the body. Gotta have a hole like that. It's just that area. It's four studs tall. And then three studs wide, And but then you gotta have this open spot right there. So yeah, um, this one was 6 studs long and 14 studs wide. And then it's 8 studs tall with some base plates on the bottom. As you can see how I just did that. And then some tiles just for that Minecraft feeling look. And you guys can also see I just put a lot of shades of gray and black on here. As I said before, for that Minecraft feeling look. Okay, moving on to like the neckish part of him. You're gonna need one pin piece to connect to the head. And then, so the dimensions for this is four by four, and then it's seven studs tall. And then right here, you're gonna need um, a smooth tile piece just to connect it for have more support. Have um, base plates on the bottom, and then this one by three white right here to go into the thing up here so it's really only like right here just this covers it right there so yeah that is the body like no not the body i mean oh yeah and then 
for this for it to actually like connect connect onto the thing like you just snap those in place onto like right here or something so moving on last but not least the two tail parts first one you have two by two open areas on both sides and then in the middle um, sorry, guess. In the middle, you have a 8 by 2 space of gray for that tail. And then you guys can probably already know what's going to happen under this. Put it like that. If you guys already didn't know, there was connector pieces at the bottom, those mechani mechanism pieces. So, and then this just goes under it. Like that. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to get that clear there, so you guys can follow exactly how I did it. I would love if you copied it. Like, I really don't care if you guys copy it or not, because, um, that just, just means I d did a good job on this. So, yeah, um, moving on to the, like, second tail, like, second, like, thing of a tail that you, like, connect on like that, like that, um... You, you're going to need two black connector pieces and then two um, gray connector pieces just connecting. Or you can have two gray or two black, however you want the tail to look. And then a 6x2 base plate on the bottom and then just put all the gray on. So that's how it should look when you're done. And we're going to attach it like that. Have the black go on to the end of the other thing. And then just put that, sorry guys, just put that down a little. Oh, wait, it came off. Sorry guys. So that's how it should look. Put it on like that. So yeah, guys, you got the tail. So I'm just going to assemble all of this back together. I'll be here in a sec. Um, it won't take that long. So yeah, guys, um... It really did, like I said before, take a lot of gray. Like I said, probably around the 300 brick mark. Um, but, ugh, sometimes this happens. Can't get this piece out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, guys, it took around the 300 brick mark. It's a pretty big creation. But, I did it. As you guys saw. <laughs> yeah, it um, didn't take me that long either. It was just, um, I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, I just had to follow a video. He did tell me, like, he didn't do a step-by-step -step tutorial of this guy that I was following. So, it was, it was pretty, pretty hard. There was some talent in it. It would be awesome if I just thought of it on my own, but... That wasn't the case scenario on this thing. Uh, why isn't this fitting in? Oh, finally. So sorry, guys. I haven't got anything, gotten every, anything done. And you guys have just had to stare at a black screen while I talk. Okay. Now I've got it going here. Oh, and another thing to note about the things, um, you put the back slanted ones, one stud from the back, if you're wondering if you want to make your own, like that, so yeah, that's just something to note, it's not like it'll make a huge difference if you guys don't do it, just if you want to make it, like, exact, and that's how you do it. Now, and the cool thing is, it's just like, he can be your buddy. He can be like, whenever you go into your gaming room, he could just be waiting for you. And then you can just be like, having an ocelot. I mean, um, a tamed cat as your own. You can name him and everything if you really want to. I shall name this guy Squiggles. And together we shall conquer all. Squiggles. <laughs> I don't know why I'm naming him Squiggles. It's just, I guess, I guess Squiggles. It's Squiggles. 
so yeah guys there you have it the minecraft um lego tamed cat siamese tamed cat it's one of the three cats you can get when you give a fish i mean um a cat a fish um i think you can also as well get a orange one and a i think it was like something crazy like a blue one or something but yeah guys there you have it the minecraft tamed cat if you like this commentary and you're new to the channel Please comment, like, and subscribe. And leave in the comments below what creation you want to see build next out of Lego bricks. Entirely out of Lego bricks. So yeah, guys, I'm Josh G28 signing out. And I will see you later, Croots.